Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. As was promised, in this video we are going to install Unto's new vision language model in 7 billion variant. We already did the installation of 2 billion model yesterday and we saw it that it was amazing, fabulous because of its high quality and it lived up to its model card in terms of OCR and visual question answering. If you are interested in the 2 billion model, please search the channel with Antu and you should be able to find it. So before I show you the installation, let's go through some of the features of this new 7 billion model. This model achieves state-of-the-art performance on visual understanding benchmarks including Math Vista, Doc VQA, Real World QA and MTV QA. The benchmarking information is already on their model card and I went into great detail in the other video which I just showed you. So I'm not going to repeat it in this video. So if you're interested, please check out the benchmarking. That is very impressive. Also, just like 2 billion model, this 7 billion can also understand videos over 20 minutes for high quality video based question answering, dialogue, content creation, etc. It is also very much compatible with the agentic software and not only that but you can also operate this model on your mobile robots especially i think if you are looking to implement it on your mobile i would suggest going with the 2 billion variant instead of 7 billion it is also um, multilingual to serve global users besides english and chinese both of these models support the understanding of text in uh, European languages, Japanese, Korean, Arabic, Vietnamese, etc. The architecture of this model is uh, improved transformers and it can handle arbitrary image resolutions, mapping them into a dynamic number of visual tokens, offering a more human like visual processing experience. It also decomposes positional embeddings into parts to capture 1D textual. 2D visual and 3D visual positioning and <clears throat> positional information, enhancing its multimodal processing capabilities. Okay, so that is a quick short intro of this model. Before I show you the installation and testing, let me give a huge thanks to Mass Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. And I will also give you a 50% discount coupon which you can use with a range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu machine with Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. Let's first activate our virtual environment to keep everything separate. I'm just calling it UN and I am in that environment now. Let's install some of the prerequisites for prerequisites. They are the usual suspects like torch and transformers and I'm installing them from the source so that we will have the latest version. Also, you can see that I'm installing an on um, supplied utility, which makes it easier to run these models with the processor of Hawking Face. Let's wait for it to get installed. That is done. Now let me launch my Jupyter notebook so that we will do it in the notebook environment in the browser. Let's wait for it to get launched in the browser. Okay, let's import the libraries and then download the model. And you can see that I'm downloading this 7 billion here on CUDA device. And the model has started downloading. There are five shards of it. Hopefully it will fit on my GPU. So let's wait. And model is almost downloaded. And now it is loading it onto my GPU should be fine now and that is all done okay next step is to define the processor any multimodal model will require an object to encode or decode the data that groups several modalities like text vision and audio this is handled by objects called as processors which group together two or more processing objects such as tokenizer for text modality image processor for vision and in case of audio feature extractors so let's define this. Okay, so the processor is done now. Next up, let's do the inference. Now, in this code, I'm all I'm doing it. I'm using pillow to load the image from my local system. I'm the first test I'm going to do is to do the optical character recognition. 
So I'm loading this OCR.png here. This is the image. It contains some of the English, some of the uh, other characters. So got a holistic test. And then I'm giving this image to the model and then I'm asking it what is the text in the image. Let's and then using the processor to apply the chat prompt and then using the processor to tokenize it with all the modalities and then putting it on our CUDA device, getting the model to generate the output. And then from there, I'm printing the output text after decoding it from the processor. So maybe I'll just increase this text a bit so that it is a number of tokens it is going to produce. So now let me run it. And there you go. So model has come back with the response. It says the text in the image is a multilingual version of the classical English idiom. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. It is written in English, German, French, Italian, Spanish and Portuguese. That is absolutely spot on. The text reads and then in English it is telling you what it is reading and then also it is um, it, it was able to do this numerical recognition dollar 43 even comma and then all the hash signs alphanumeric characters email addresses spam other languages even the omelouts on top of them as you can see in rapido maroon so all in all i think really good stuff this is really really good i mean very impressive there are i think slight mistakes but this is expected for the, i'm not sure if this uh where this is coming from but i think this is not um, a mistake i guess because it is just dividing into languages like portuguese german italian okay so i can't find any fault at the moment better than 2 billion of course it was also quite good but this has just taken it to another level amazing let's try another test okay next up i have given it this handwritten and uh, .jpg and then it is it contains first two pages middle pages last two pages a different one so let's see if it is able to do this what is the text in this image and do you see anything else in it so there are some graphs and stuff so let's run it and see what it does so it it was able to do it seems some of the handwriting it says the text in the image reads my handwriting in exams yes first two pages yes global warming is definite global warming is definitely a very huge issue in front of this entire world it's causing several disturbances in the and then middle pages middle pages last middle pages it was unable to do it, it seems and last two pages in addition to the text there is an image of an electrocardiogram ECG at the bottom of the image that is correct so I think it is definitely amazing so this is a beautiful thing about it that if it can't read it is not going to hallucinate it is not going to fabricate it next up I am giving it a blurry image here so there are three cars and then there are trees and you see there is someone who is trying to get into the car or maybe get out so let's see what image does here let me run it and then we will see okay i think i just missed something there let me see what happened okay i just misspelled the extension it is a png image so let me put png and now run it again let's wait for it to see what happens there you go so now it says the image depicts an autumn scene that's correct with vibrant red foliage in the foreground likely from deciduous trees in the background there are several parked cars and a brick building with large windows that is correct the trees have yellow leaves indicating the fall season the overall atmosphere okay so it uh, maybe i'll ask it how many cars and then about the cars let's see so you see i'm asking it how many cars are there in the image and do you see any humans so let's try this one now it says there are three cars in the image. I do not see any humans in the image. So it was unable to decipher it. And it's really, I mean, to be fair, it's very, very blurry. Okay, let's try out another one. Now in this image, I'm asking it, which lane should I drive into this image? So you see there are two lanes which are closed. And this one is 
uh, open so let me run it to see what it says here it says you should drive into the lane on the right as indicated by the green arrow sign that says autos bus rvs how good is that amazing amazing stuff really cool in this next one i'm asking it are these photos of same animal in this image let's try it out and again very impressive it says no these are not two same pictures the animal on the left is raccoon and the animal on the right is red panda how good is that really impressive so i'm sure that you are uh, you will be as impressed as i am let me know what do you think i will drop the link to this model card in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your networks as it helps a lot thanks for watching